Hi, I'm Mike with Tricky Fast Studios, and I'd like to introduce you to Cat Game Builder. Cat Game Builder is the easier, faster way to make games in Unity. Now, Cat stands for Conditions, Actions, and Triggers, but Cat Game Builder also includes state machines, variables, and several integrated game systems. One of the most important parts of Cat is Actions. Actions are the workhorse of Cat. They perform all functions of your game. Some example actions include the navigate to action, which will move something from point A to point B, the set velocity action, which will set how fast it's going, and the play sound action, which will play some sounds like an engine noise or footsteps. Conditions are another important part of CAT. They can be used for saying, if this, then that. They instantly check some state and succeed or fail based on it. Some example conditions include the mouse button condition, which can check if the mouse button is currently down, the proximity condition, which can check if two objects are close enough to each other, and the is visible condition, which can check whether an object is actually on screen. The T in CAT stands for triggers. Triggers are like conditions that are either on or off depending on the state they're watching. Some example triggers include the button trigger, which watches a button, and whenever the button is pressed, it fires. The keyboard trigger watches a key, and whenever the key is pressed, it fires. Then there's the collision trigger which watches for collisions between one object and another. And when that happens, it fires. To tie this all together, Cat uses state machines. State machines contain multiple states, and each state describes a behavior. An example of states include the walk state, the jump state, or the attack state. States can use conditions, actions, and triggers to define what their behavior is. Variables in Cat are handled by the value system. Values allow storing of data during gameplay. Most condition, action, and trigger parameters use them. And when they're used as parameters, they can either store a value or reference a value stored somewhere else. Cat Game Builder includes several other systems. One of those is localization. This is a basic system for localizing games to different languages and is fully integrated into all the other systems. There's also the quest system, which can be used for quests, missions, or tracking progress in a game. You can also use it for a first-time user experience. It has cats integrated at every level for maximum flexibility. The storage system can be used to save game state between sessions. It's integrated into state machines, values, quests, and all other systems. Finally, we've included both player and camera controllers. These are cat integrated and flexible enough to work with many types of games. In the future, we plan to build and release more CAT integrated game systems. Some examples include RPG systems, systems for casual games, and VR integration. Well, that's it for the introduction to CAT. I hope you found this video useful. For more information on CAT and how it can help you prototype and build games faster, please visit trickyfast.com/cat. I'm Mike Hanberger with Tricky Fast Studios. Thanks for watching.